No, I do not think that I made rules. No, the rules are there. I'm just implementing them now. So every time there's going to be a discussion, I just keep on telling them, we always refer them. What is the rule? It's not going to be me. It's not going to be them. It's going to be the rule. Welcome to the PBA Rulebook. In this episode, we will discuss the landing spot foul. This rule states that every airborne player is entitled to a safe landing spot. Let's take a moment to check this play out. Oh, look at that! And this play will be reviewed. I thought Ed got him in the body. Not sure if he got him in the feet. I oh, will see it here. But they've been very strict with those landing spots right now. Although. According to the recently adjusted rules, if there is a legitimate challenge from the defender, meaning that he actually jumps to contest the shot, he will be called for an ordinary foul if the shooter lands on his foot but does not result in any dire consequence or injury. But if the scenario causes any dire consequence or injury, a flagrant foul penalty one will be assessed. If there is no legitimate challenge from the defender, he will be called for a technical foul if there is no contact involved but he still takes up the space of the shooter's landing spot. If there is no legitimate challenge from the defender and the shooter lands on his foot, the defender will be called for a flagrant foul penalty one if it does not result in dire consequence or injury. A flagrant foul penalty two will be called if it results in dire consequence or injury. So those were the don'ts when challenging a jump shooter. What is the correct way then? We invite Masera Mer and Ed Akiwag himself to show us what he should have done instead in order to avoid the landing spot foul called on him. Let's take one more look. Ed Akiwag challenges the jump shot but lands on Basera Mare's side, thus allowing the jump shooter to land safely. So we've just explained the landing spot foul coming from the defender. But what about the jump shooter? When the jump shooter sticks his leg out towards the defender, he will be called for an offensive foul. For more on the PBA rulebook and your everyday dose of basketball, keep it here on PBA Run.